Dear Friends, today we have a special episode of Super Tony's Adventures. Enjoy! In today's video, we are going to travel the whole world to see the most poisonous creatures on our planet. Let's go! The fifth creature on our list is the poison dart frog. It can be found in the forests of Central and South America. If you happen to see such creature in the wild, remember to stay away from it. This little fella carries enough venom to kill 10 adults. In the past, the local tribes used to smear the poison of these creatures on their arrows and spears. The fourth place is reserved for the Taipan, a snake that lives in Australia. In one bite, it can release enough venom to kill 100 people. The venom of this deathly creature is several hundreds more poisonous than the venom of a cobra. If it bites you, you'll probably be dead after 45 minutes. Lucky for you, there's an antidote. Moreover, this snake scares easily and in the face of danger, it tries to run away as fast as possible or to slither away. In the third place is the Death Stalker, a scary scorpion that can be found in North Africa and the Middle East. By the way, despite what many people think, most scorpions aren't deathly to humans and their poison causes only pain and swelling in the place of the bite. Nevertheless, the Death Stalker carries a deathly cocktail of neurotoxins that can cause incredible pain, fever, and convulsions, putting you into a coma, paralyzing you, and finally killing you. The second place goes to the King Cobra, which can be found in Asia. It is considered the most poisonous snake in the world. It doesn't have the deathliest poison out there, but the quantity is impressive. One bite is enough to kill an adult elephant, Moreover, king cobras aren't afraid of anything. If they're hungry or feel threatened, they don't hesitate to attack anyone, including people. That's the main reason why this creature is so high on our list. And finally, the winner of the title of most venomous creature on Earth is the box jellyfish. It can be found in the waters of Asia and Australia. Its venom is the most dangerous in the world. The toxins can stop the heart, the nervous system, and the cells of the skin. Moreover, it causes a tremendous amount of pain. So, the victims usually suffer from pain shock and drown or die from heart attack. Data shows that in the last 60 years, box jellyfish have killed more than 6,000 people. Yeah, we better get going, Tony. Our home feels so much safer. Wow, Tony, what have you got there? Hmm, it looks like you were bitten by a spider. You have all the signs. First, there are two little wounds next to each other, although you could also have a big inflamed wound. And the second sign is swelling, redness, and skin damage. Other symptoms include blisters on the skin, and after some days, you will notice pus formation. What are you so happy about, yeah. Tony? You're not gonna get any superpowers that will allow you to climb walls, shoot webs, or fight crime. Almost all spiders are venomous, but the power and toxicity of each spider depends on the species. Some spiders can only kill insects, while other can kill rats and spiders, and some might even kill an elephant. Usually, it depends on the spider's diet. When they attack, they bite their victims and inject poison in their bodies, dissolving their intestines. After that, the spiders simply drink them like a protein shake. That's one of the reasons why spider bites never go unnoticed and you are guaranteed to experience some pain. But let's get back to Tony. In general, spiders don't attack people because they don't eat people. They bite us when we provoke them, whether intentionally or accidentally. If you bother a spider in its home, it will bite you as a means of self-defense, and then it will run away. Oh, I got distracted again. Apparently, I know too much. Looks like Tony is okay, for now. But if you are bitten by a spider, you can develop different symptoms. They include weakness, headache, dizziness, nausea, swelling, muscle pain, excessive sweating, impaired coordination, paleness, and much more. Hmm, but that's the way Tony is every day. Still, we should administer him first aid. For starters, we should clean the wound to remove the remaining venom. After that, disinfect the wound. You can use alcohol, hydrogen peroxide, or something like that. If the pain gets stronger and the wound swells, you should apply a cold compress. What you shouldn't do is try to squeeze the venom out. This procedure will only make the venom move faster through the blood. 
If you think your friend has been bitten by a dangerous spider, you should call an ambulance ASAP. While you wait, antihistamines are a great way to alleviate the allergic reaction. In most cases, death is caused by allergic reactions to the venom, so be careful. Apart from that, the victim should drink lots of fluids so the kidneys will work harder, getting rid of the venom in a natural way. Tony is looking worse. Luckily, the doctors are here, so everything will be okay. Tony, let's go outside. Mm -hmm. It's time for a brand new experiment. You are gonna be stung by different insects, and I'll tell you how you should act in each case. Aren't you excited? Oh, come on. At least our subscribers will find it interesting and very useful. We'll start with a bee. In case you didn't know, Wasps, hornets, and bees only attack to defend themselves, but if you have been stung, the poison will quickly enter your body. By the way, it's one of the strongest allergens in the world. It will make your skin turn red and swell. The first thing you should do is carefully remove the sting, if it's still there. Then treat the wound with calendula tincture, hydrogen peroxide, or other alcohol-based fluid. You can use ice to relieve the swelling and you should take an antihistamine to prevent an allergic reaction. However, if you have been stung in the mouth or the head, you will need serious help as quick as possible. First, you need to get first aid, and then you need to see a doctor immediately, because bee stings can cause suffocation. Well, actually, you should always resort to qualified help if you start experiencing severe swelling, rash, swelling of the face, dizziness, nausea, vomiting, shortness of breath, or chest pain. Let's move on. The next creature on our list is the tick. If you get bitten by this little vampire, you can get up to five infections, the worst being tick-borne encephalitis and Lyme disease. The problem is that a tick bite is quite difficult to detect, as it injects an anesthetic along with its saliva. However, if you find the insect somewhere on your body, you should carefully remove it with tweezers. This should be done by rotating, while trying not to squeeze the tick so that the infected substance does not get into the wound. If it is not possible to remove it along with the head, you should quickly remove it with a needle treated with alcohol and heat. Once it's done, you should treat the wound, place the tick in a container, and take it to a laboratory for analysis. Only by examining the insect will doctors be able to determine whether it was infected or not. This way, they will be able to find the most appropriate treatment for you. We are going to tell you everything we know about the most poisonous animals in the world. Let's start with the blue ringed octopus, which can be found in tide pools and coral reefs in Australia and Japan. This octopus is no bigger than a golf ball, and it can be identified by its yellowish skin and characteristic blue and black rings. This small octopus has enough poison to kill 26 people in a couple of minutes, and there's no antidote. If poisoned, the person starts to suffocate, their limbs go numb, and they can't talk or see. The only thing that remains after that is paralysis, and then death. The next creature on our list is the Brazilian wandering spider. By the way, it was included in the Guinness Book of Records 2007 as the deadliest spider in the world. It is dangerous not only for its venom, but for its behavior as well. It doesn't like to remain in one place, and instead it travels, hiding in buildings, clothes, boots, and cars, which highly increases the chance of people meeting a Brazilian wandering spider and getting bitten. Of course, a list of the most venomous animals should include the pufferfish, also known as fugu. It lives in the waters of Japan. Its skin and some of its organs contain a very powerful venom, which can cause paralysis, suffocation, and death. But despite all that, fugu fish is a delicacy in Japan and Korea, where it is cooked by specially trained and qualified chefs. The last creature in today's video is the most poisonous fish in the world. Meet the reef stonefish, which lives in shallow waters of the Indo-Pacific, from the Red Sea to the Great Barrier Reef. The poison of this fish causes a pain so severe that victims have asked doctors to amputate their legs to stop the pain. So, the fact that this venom causes the strongest pain known to humans is not surprising. The fish stores the poison in its dorsal spines. It usually hides on the seabed and it looks like a stone, so people don't notice it and step on it. Tony, look, a bat! Yeah, well, you're just like a little boy. 
you should know that bats are completely harmless, as well as many other animals that may look scary but are not dangerous. However, for some reason, we are afraid of them. I'll tell you more and you'll be shocked, dear friends. Let's keep talking about bats. They are scary winged creatures that come out at night to drink your blood, right? Well, they don't. Most bats feed exclusively on small insects, some on small birds and lizards, and there's even a species that eats fish. There are only three species of vampire bats, which feed on blood. However, they prefer to drink the blood of cows, goats, and other livestock. Humans, on the contrary, are dangerous to them, so these bats prefer not to approach us. However, it is worth noting that you shouldn't approach a colony of bats. The fact is that they are carriers of a large number of viral infections, fatal to humans. We all know about one of them very well because it has been disturbing the whole world for almost two years, although it's possible that bats had nothing to do with it. We don't know for sure and this is not time to speculate because Tony and I only tell you about proven and verified facts. Here, for example, is our next guest, the giant African millipede. This is one of the largest invertebrates in the world, and although they may look like small snakes, they simply can't hurt us. They cannot bite or sting, and when they feel threatened, they roll their body into a ball. You can even touch and pet this animal. By the way, tell us in the comments if you would dare to touch it. And let's keep learning. Here it is, the beautiful scarlet milk snake. Because of its bright patterns, this snake is often mistaken for a venomous snake, for example, the coral snake. However, you can even keep a scarlet milk snake at home, and it won't mind at because they do well in captivity. Their resemblance to dangerous snakes help them survive in the wild, because predators, thinking that a dangerous coral snake is in front of them, prefer to go look for a more harmless prey. This phenomenon is called mimicry. By the way, here are some interesting facts. Mimicry is the ability of a harmless animal to disguise itself as a completely different animal, usually poisonous or very dangerous, in order to survive in the wild. For example, there is a fly that looks like a wasp and so birds try to steer clear of it because they know that wasps are very poisonous. By the way, you can easily tell the difference between a scarlet milk snake and a coral snake. If the red and the black color are next to each other, then it is a milk snake. But if the red is next to the yellow, then you are in front of a venomous coral snake. And now meet the largest spider in the world, the tarantula. You probably thought that this spider brings nothing but death. But the truth is that they don't really care about humans. And even if a tarantula bites you, it will be less painful than the bite of an ordinary wasp, and certainly not fatal. Not in vain, many people even keep tarantulas as pets, and most likely, they don't have any caterpillars, crickets, and cockroaches at home, because tarantulas feed on them. So, shall we move on to crocodiles? Well, you'll probably say that crocodiles are certainly dangerous to humans. We agree with you, but not all crocodiles are bad. Take, for example, the gavial. It is a harmless reptile with a long and thin snout, which feeds exclusively on fish and will never attack humans. In fact, their rather small jaw is simply not capable of holding large prey, so gavials swim away at the sight of humans. And finally, it's time to talk about the basking shark. These fish can reach 10 meters in length and always swim with their scary jaws open. Only you won't find any big and sharp teeth in there because this is a filter feeder. It simply lets a huge amount of water pass through its throat, filtering out plankton. Thus, they filter up to 2,000 tons of water per hour, and they don't pose any threat to human beings. Moreover, they allow scuba divers to approach them and swim nearby. But divers must be cautious still because their skin is covered with large and pointed scales. Today, we are gonna talk about cute tiny animals that are so adorable that you would never even think of them as being dangerous. We'll start with a small and fluffy animal known as Loris. You must have seen it at the zoo or at least on the internet. Its huge eyes look sad and heartbreaking, but don't let it fool you. Lorises are dangerous animals that have adapted to survive in the wild using their venom. They have special glands in their elbows that release a lethal substance. In case of danger, 
the animal takes some poison in its mouth and bites the enemy. As a result, it can kill not only other animals, but also humans, causing severe suffocation. The next animal on our list is a very cute and small bird known as Pitohui. It may seem quite harmless, but that's just the first impression. Pitohuis are unique. They are the only poisonous bird in the world. Its entire body produces a powerful toxin, and even its feathers are a threat to your life. If the toxin enters the bloodstream, a human or an animal could die of paralysis without medical attention. Now let's move on to something different. This is a very beautiful but dangerous caterpillar known as giant silkworm moth that lives in the Brazilian rainforest. It is good at disguising itself as moss, so you can accidentally touch it without even knowing it. The thing is, this caterpillar is covered with tiny hairs containing a strong poison, which causes severe burns in the skin. After that, it enters the bloodstream and can cause red blood cell destruction, internal bleeding, and kidney failure. Of course, one little touch won't kill you, but if you decide to touch or caress this cute creature, you probably will die very fast. And last but not least, let's talk about mosquitoes. More exactly, Anopheles mosquitoes. They live in tropical climates and they can cause malaria in humans. Every year, these little insects kill up to 3 million people. Understandably, most cases occur in regions with poorly developed medicine. But if you plan to visit a tropical resort, you better get vaccinated. Friends, tell us in the comments what other harmless looking but actually deadly creatures you know. The best and most original answers will be featured in the next video. Give us a like and click on the bell so that you won't miss Super Tony's new episodes. Bye bye!